Hey guys, TechAventure with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you guys how to fix this Touch ID unable to activate on your iPhone issue that you might have encountered. Now, this is going to be only applicable with iPhone that have Touch ID, which is that fingerprint reader thing, which starts from iPhone 5S all the way to the iPhone 8 lineup and then the iPhone SE 2020 edition. Of course, the newer iPhones, iPhone 10 and above, will not have this be issue because they do not have Touch ID. So when you see this error message, there's two possible reasons why you're getting this issue. The first one, it's gonna be hardware related, which is gonna be actually the issue with the hardware where you're gonna have to replace the actual home button itself, which only Apple and authorized repair shop will do. That's more in more intensive and more of course effort that you need to put in that's going to be the first thing you're really most likely going to have to do but the other aspect of fixing this it's going to be software issue which we'll show you guys what you can do to fix that and for the majority part if it is a software issue this issue can be easily resolved again there's going to be two different types hardware and software this is addressing the software aspect of it. So let's dive into it. So when you get this error message, most likely it's because something is happening when it's trying to read your fingerprint. And to do that, first thing you wanna go into, go into settings. And once you go in settings, you wanna go to touch ID and passcode. And you notice here, whether you have a fingerprint already or not, you can go ahead and add another one. Simply sometimes, if you already have an existing one, you might have to delete that one, which you can do. So let's go ahead and add one. So if you wanna add one, you simply just lay your finger and then lift it up and down. So sometimes if you press too hard or just hold it in a bad angle, it doesn't work. So the trick here is just moving your finger and then moving it different ways. And then you'll see you need to, and then do the adjust the grip, which is gonna be like moving it this way and that way. Again, sometimes people have a hard time doing it because they don't know. You have to just press and when it vibrates, let it go. Press and vibrate and let it go. So that's how you're gonna do it. And then hit complete. And then every time you do this or anytime you do this, you need to enter a passcode if you don't have a passcode set up. So we're just gonna go ahead and simply set one up here. Yeah, and this is a easy, this only is just saying that it's really easy to guess. So that's fine. We're just only showing you to demo. Again, you want to make sure you know your past code because if you don't, you're going to have to reset the phone, which you don't want to do. So as you can see, we're now able to successfully add a touch ID and that message should go, to, go away. If you happen to have multiple fingerprints and you're getting that message, go ahead and delete all of them. And to delete it, you just click on that fingerprint and then you delete it and it will be gone. Now, if you want to turn off your passcode, you can also do that by simply entering the passcode again. and that will turn off the passcode and then retry again one more time if you're still having the issue so that's going to be step one step number two to resolve this issue it's going to be actually restarting your phone so to restart any of these newer phone, or at least the iphone 6 up to 8 and the sc it's going to be straightforward you're just going to hold this button on the side and just press and hold and slide to power up or if your buttons don't work you can simply come on to settings so with iOS 15 here, you can simply go into settings and then general and all the way at the bottom, you'll have the shutdown option. Shut it down, give it about a minute and then power it back on simply by using the buttons. And if your buttons doesn't work, you can plug in your charger and that will also restart the phone. Uh, the next thing you want to do is you known a force restart with your iPhone um, depending on the model that you have, it's going to be slightly different. For the most part, re force restart is a little bit more advanced than a restart. Most of the time on these devices, you can hold the power button and the home button at the same time, and that will do it. So you have to do it really uh, together at the same time. So when you do that, it has to be exactly at the same time, or it will take a screenshot. And as you can see now, that's doing a force restart. So this is iPhone 6s but method will work on 7 8 and of course uh the newer iphone se as well so this is doing a re force restart and it will kind of clear up any memory cache issues software glitches that happen or any just bug in general and it's always a good idea to do this to resolve any sort of software related issue that could potentially impact your touch id now once that has been done again this one 
it's one of those things that will take some time. You just have to be a little bit patient. This will not delete any of your data or anything like that. Force restart is simply just making sure your phone gets a proper restart. Again, as you can see, all the apps, all your photos, videos will still be there. Now, the next thing you want to do, it's again, with any sort of software issue, it's going to be making sure your phone is up to date with the latest version of software. And to do that, again, you're going to go to settings. And then this time you're going to go general and then software update. You're going to go ahead and check for any update because each time Apple releases an update, there's sometimes bug that causes Touch ID not to work. So make sure you always install the latest version. As you can see, there's a new one that came out. We can simply download and install that by clicking that and it will just go through and do that. Make sure you're connected to a power source and have good Wi-Fi connection. Or you can use iTunes as well to update your software as well. And then the, the next method you're gonna do, it's gonna be a little bit more effort. And the reason why we say more effort, it's gonna be factory resetting your phone. Now this method goes a little bit beyond the force restart or just restarting your phone. This method, you're gonna want to use iTunes, connect your phone there or use iCloud backup, back up your device fully. And then after your device is fully backed up either to iCloud or iTunes, now you can simply go ahead into settings and then go to general and then all the way down here where it says reset iPhone, you want to do this option where it erase all content and setting. Now, once you do that, it's going to get to this point. This will erase everything. That's why it's really important before you do this step that you back up your uh, information all of your photos videos apps to either itunes on your computer or through icloud and then go ahead and delete everything and then once you delete everything you can restore again all of your data from itunes or your icloud backup now this is more intensive and usually it's sort of the last resort thing you want to do now if all of these steps did not work for you and you're still having that touch id issue and that's going to be simply because there's an issue with the actual but in itself, and now that's a hardware thing. As we mentioned, you're gonna have to get Apple to take a look at and fix that for you because you won't be able to do it because we don't recommend it. Even then, there's specific things you have to do to fix it and only certified technicians can fix that for you. So hopefully these steps help you guys resolve this issue that you're seeing. And if there's something else that helped you guys fix it, leave a comment in the comment section for everyone to also get that knowledge. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.